snake here. What time is that? <laughs> Hey, it's Edson with Geek Time TV with a uh, Sound of Freedom update, and um, this movie just continues to impress. Angel Studios' Sound of Freedom sees box office grosses increase in its second weekend. Uh, this is coming from ba uh, Bounding into Comics by John F. Trent. This is something you don't see from movies, that their second weekend actually increases. Usually you see a significant drop uh, from the first to second weekend, because usually the first weekend uh, you get your highest um, uh, box office due to all the marketing that has been put out there for the previous months, and then you have a bunch of people going seeing. And then the second week gets a drop, uh, you know, especially if if they don't like the movie. There's not a lot of word of mouth or anything like this. But Sound of Freedom actually increases uh, as as opposed to uh, decreasing. Uh, it's unbelievable that this basically means that the people that are going to watch this movie actually like it because they are uh, doing positive reviews on it. They're talking to their fans and family. They're just encouraging everybody to go out, including myself, actually. Um, I, I really liked it. Uh, I just went for the uh, second time this last week as it was getting uh, towards the end of its second, uh, the end of its second week in release. I went for the second time and um I uh, happened to just look in, look in the theater that I was going to uh, the day before, and lucky I did because already the day before, the time that I was going to, uh, uh, th already half the seats were filled in the theater, and I'm like, well, I might as well just uh, reserve my seats now because who knows if I can get in the next day. So I we, we went in the next day, and the theater was packed, and it wasn't a small theater either. It was a, it was a good sized theater. Uh, it was packed. It was sold out. Um, People of all ages coming to see this movie. It was um, uh, you. You couldn't. You didn't hear a sound during the movie, uh, other than what's coming from the movie, because everybody was riveted to the to the uh, screen. Uh, at, nobody's looking at their phones or anything like that. Uh, at the end, uh, p people did a, you know a respectful clapping and appreciation of the movie, uh, and uh, I, I and it was it was great. Um, it, it, this the the success of the movie is just remarkable, uh, because even more remarkable because a lot of the mainstream media is coming out with this um, narrative that um, uh, people shouldn't be seeing this movie. I don't know why. For some reason, they're attacking this movie. I have no idea why uh, they they would go out of their way to attack this movie. Um, but despite all this, it's 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 gotten huge success. Uh, I've I've seen some of these uh, some of these so-called uh, reviewers uh, saying that um, uh, the only reason why you see see the, this high these huge box office numbers for this movie uh, is because um, not because people are seeing it but because they're, they're just getting huge donations for the box office and people aren't really seeing well I'm sorry to, to break that narrative but uh, I I went uh, not only the first time but the second time too in the first week and the second week and the theater I went to was sold out so yes people are seeing this. Uh, and 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 it's it's just the, this whole narrative about, about that people aren't really saying this is just a total lie. I don't know why why people are saying this. Um, Angel Studios' the Sound of Freedom film did something one hardly sees at the box office anymore. It saw its second weekend grosses increase over its premiere weekend. Like I said, many movie most movies come out and you get this huge turnout in the first week. Because of the the it's it's something new and it's it's a mar the marketing has has hit everywhere, and then you have these huge decreases in the second week, like fifty percent, sixty percent, seventy percent, and this this is actually increasing in its second week, which just tells you how much people like it. In press release, the distributor announced that the Jim Caviezel driven film grossed twenty seven million in its second week and an increase of thirty seven percent from its opening weekend of nineteen point six million. Angel Studios' head of theatrical distribution, Brandon Purdy, pointed out that the historical significance of the film's second weekend increase, there have only been 10 wide-release movies in box office history that have a second week increase greater than 35% over their opening weekend. All of them did it at Christmas. Angel Studios is the only studio to do this in the summer blockbuster se season with Sound of Freedom. Incredible. Only the first one in the, in the summer blockbuster season that had an increase over the second weekend from first to second weekend. Uh, the company's SVP of global distribution, Jared Giese, boasted about the film's success while also taking a shot at the company's competitors. While the entire summer box office 
lineup is underperforming. That's absolutely true. We've seen some some bombs in in the summertime. The Flash is is, is basically going to lose money. The the Indiana J- Jones doing terrible. That's going to lose money. Our small independent film continues to grow week over week, driven by millions of fans and supporters. Sound of Freedom has become a national and soon international movement of change. I was just wondering about that. That this the the what they've gotten so far. Um, I believe the total um, box office uh, after two weeks is about 85 million, 84.5 million. Um, and, and of course, compared to its 50 million um, budget, it's, it's just incredible. Uh, they've already tripled, um, you know, the w- with a film with a $50 million budget, it, it, the break even point is around 30 million. So they've already tripled that. Um, and I was wondering if they were gonna. That that's just domestic. I was wondering if they're gonna release it internationally. And it looks like they will, and they should, uh, because the, I'm, I'm sure that many many outside the country were gonna love this. The movie's second weekend gross of 27 million brings the film's total domestic gross to 85.4 million. The film has now grossed more at the box office than major studio superhero films such as Shazam, Fury of the Gods which only took in $57.6 million at the do- domestic box office. Again, I can't say it enough. It's an incredible um, showing from this movie. It's quite likely the film could best The Flash by its third weekend. The Flash has only grossed $106.8 million domestically and only brought in an abysmal $720,000 in its f- fifth weekend at the box office. Well, it has seen its theaters, theater counts drop to less than eight hundred. The Flash, the Flash, was, was, which was supposed to be the major hit of the summer, uh, with a 300 million, probably more, upwards of 300 million uh, uh, in, of its production budget, not to mention probably another 100, 150 of marketing. And this movie, th- this 15 million dollar budget movie, looks like it might overtake the Flash's domestic numbers. That's absolutely incredible. Uh, other films that almost it'll Likely best best include Paramount Pictures, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, Megan, and Scream Six. Dungeons and Dragons only grossed ninety three point two million domestically. Megan brought in ninety five, and Scream Six grossed one hundred eight point one. All three movies that um, I'm sure I, I know have had a much higher uh, production budget than Sound of Freedom. Looks like Sound of Freedom is going to do uh, better than them in its domestic numbers. It's it's just an incredible um, showing for this movie. In fact, in the press release, Angel Studios expects the film to cross the 100 million mark sometime this week before its third weekend in theaters. The film could even beat out the Walt Disney Company's Elemental as well as Universal's Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. So beating out movies from Walt, from Disney and Universal. Um, I can't say enough about how great this movie is doing. And yes, unlike what you might hear from, um, from, from some of the mainstream media, there are people going to actually see this movie. Those box, numbers, box office numbers are not being artificially inflated with anything. Uh, I have seen it with my own eyes. I've gone twice and, uh, and uh, w- with weeks apart, and the uh, theater was completely full. Sound of Freedom follows the story of former government agent Tim Ballard who quit his job to rescue a little girl from sex traffickers in the Colombian jungle. In the process, Jim, Tim ended up saving 123 people, 55 of which were children, from one mission alone. The film has received an A-plus cinema score and currently has an 8.2 on IMDb. And this brings up another uh, good point um, or, or something else about this movie which you uh, rarely ever see. And that is, if we go look over at the Rotten Tomatoes score here, you see here 100% Rotten Tomatoes score from the audience score, of course, with 10,000 plus verified ratings. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before um, for, for, uh, on a movie uh, with, with that many verified ratings. Of course, you see the uh, so-called, um, I'm going to put it in air quotes, uh, critic score, uh, which... Um, I, I don't really trust very much because today's critic uh, kind of just goes with whatever the popular narrative is. If they want to, you know, if, if the mainstream media want to uh, criticize a movie, then they'll criticize a movie. But the one I trust is the um, the audience score, 100% um, from 10,000 plus verified ratings. That's an incredible 
uh, it's a perf it's the perfect number, and it just tells you uh, just how much people are really uh, just m moviegoers are really enjoying this film. Um, 100% audience score. It's uh, just yet another incredible achievement from this movie. Um, I, I really do hope that um, that they keep this movie in the theaters uh, for months to come. I definitely plan on going seeing it again. I hope uh, they have uh, an international release. I'm sure there's a lot of people outside of this country that was gonna are uh, gonna love this movie. I hope uh, they continue to 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 break new new records and and, and increase their success. Uh, I, I just I just loved it. Okay, that's it for me. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching Geek Time TV. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, make sure to check the little bell icon anytime someone from our network drops new content here. Want some Geek Time swag? Check out the merchandise available in the Geek Time TV store, linked in the channel description below. Share Geek Time TV with friends, and as always, thank you for your support. We'll see you soon.